a, a, a bit of an elephant in the room today, so let me um, uh, kind of approach that now carefully. But when you're talking about it can be a noisy world. It was a noisy world in Twitter last night, Stuart, because of an incident in yesterday's show. Yes. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Yes. When the subject of sectarian singing was kind of introduced a wee bit yeah. by Stuart, mm. and uh, we apparently brushed it aside. That would be me and Katrina Shearer. Now, we've never brushed any subject um, of that ilk aside on off the ball. Uh, what actually happened was Stuart introed it by mentioning holy water, right? Yes. Yeah. And a mention of that, right? Now, we'd been taught water was actually a bit of a theme on water the show. Water was in the air. Aye, we, was, played, yeah. we played... You don't need to tell any Scots that water was in the air. It always <laughs> has, aye. aye. But we played uh, Cool Water uh, by Marty Robbins when Kat Shearer was coming into the show because she had gone mental on Twitter about the lack of water, lack of drinking water in Seville. We had then talked about water, talked about water. So I was sitting here, as usual, and I'm no complaining, up to my oaksters in texts and emails. Uh, we were trying to get Graham Strachan to get the plug in for his book. I was looking at all the topics we had. It's always a busy, busy show. We try to keep it going. And I caught the wrong uh, uh, side of what Stuart was saying. And far from wanting to brush it aside, Stuart, uh, if any of our listeners who think that the subject of sectarianism and bigotry and that was swept aside, which we have never done this show. Now that the season is effectively finished, I'll happily do a two-hour special next Saturday on the subject. Uh, but then, if they can take part in the show, let's let's keep it real, keep it honest. Because on social media last night, and I had so many people contacting me, um, me apparently using an expression on the show that's not even in my vocabulary. But guys, just, you know, in a public forum with Aye. Twitter, go in there and use it. Uh, Tam, apparently somebody else, um, has an anti-Catholic routine that he performs around Scotland. How far are you going to get with that, you know? And, you know, the whole thing for me, I wouldn't say I was wounded. Tell I would, you, Tam, hang on, I would say, jokes in Latin I wouldn't say flat. I was wounded. I would say I was wounded uh, by this because when all this was happening apparently in yesterday's show and brushing this aside and then ultimately me being delighted that Rangers, my real big team, won the Scottish <sighs> Cup and, it, and me being anti-Celtic, it was fresh from me and not for the first time uh, the night before um, on a voluntary, ba uh, voluntary basis hosting a fundraising dinner in memory of young uh, Raymond Gormley, mm. uh, the Celtic fan who was in the wrong place at the wrong time and was basically brutally murdered yeah. um, for wearing the wrong colour of football shirt. And see, for folk then to accuse you of stuff like that, yeah. I just find it utterly utterly repulsive and repugnant. If you want to talk about sectarianism, personally, me and Stuart, for a long number of years, have found it boring because we don't have the answer about how you get rid of it in Scottish football. It's come up and off the ball week after week, month after month, year after year, and we've never shied away from anything in this programme. If anybody wants an open, honest, two-hour special on this programme next Saturday lunchtime, I am more than happy to discuss could, it. Could I just say that I think that one of the arguments that was coming through is that the uh, group of people that were most prominent online arguing about it, Tam, actually I'm not sure that they actually respect the word sectarianism. What they want to say, rightly, is that sometimes in Scotland there is anti-Catholic and anti-Irish bigotry. And they don't well, like the idea. Well, I will go on record right there and say that any anti-Irish, anti-Catholic um, behaviour in Scotland is absolutely abhorrent. Yes, uh, I am married I to a Catholic, um, and I just think it's disgusting. I think any of that stuff is uh, right across the board. You know, when you look at the sort of world that we're living in, the new, yeah. how, can, how would you even waste time? Getting getting yourself uh, worked up about that sort of stuff. See, 